So when we talk about wireworms, uh, it's probably one of the most challenging insect pests that we deal with in the prairies. Uh, challenging in the sense that it's very difficult to diagnose, it's very difficult to see, to find. Syngenta has been looking at how we can develop some diagnostic tools to help farmers uh, determine what the risk level is for, for wireworms. And as you know, there's, there's two stages that are important. One is the adult, and that's the click beetle. So after five years of being a larvae stage, or, or depending on the species, that could vary, they will emerge as adults. And these click beetles, they're running around on the field. And, and um, if we could capture these click beetles, uh, then we can get someone to look at them to determine what species they are uh, and how prevalent they are. So we've been working with some third-party institutions to develop that trap. And this is a simple pitfall trap that I'm showing here right now. The click beetles actually are, are, are wandering around the field. The males particularly are looking for the females. The females are sending out pheromones to attract the males and as they're wandering around uh, they accidentally just walk into the trap and, and drop into the pitfall. So the nice thing about this trap, it's so easy to install. Um, basically I've prepared a little hole here. Uh, just put the trap in there. You put the dirt around the, the hole. What's really important is when you're installing the trap is that the soil is right level with the lip of the top of the trap. So as the click beetle's coming around, he just wanders right in there and he drops in. So very easy to install. And then you just put the lid over the top of the trap like this and it's set to go. The nice thing about these traps is that they'll last forever. Uh, so easy to install and then after uh, four or five days you can come back take the trap and then check to see whether or not uh, you have any clicks in there. Now the nice thing is we're not all experts on click beetle identification and species identification. We have a tube here that we can uh, put the click beetles in here and what we do is we fill it with alcohol and, and that really preserves them. Uh, the one thing is if you don't do that and you ship uh, click beetles to the lab. Uh, by the time they get to the lab, they're severely decayed and they will be very difficult for us to be able to identify what it is. So having the alcohol in there will preserve them. And what we require, if you could put your name, location, GPS locations, and send it to Syngenta, we can have someone look at it to determine, uh, first of all, if they are click beetles, and secondly, what the species are.